Welcome back. They fought and died for a country whose fruits they never tasted. Our founding fathers joined hands to protect the sovereignty of this beloved country. Now it is our turn to prove worthy of handling the fruits of their tears, sweat and blood. Fifty years later, as we mark Kenya at 50, many expect celebrations galore, full of glamour. Well, that might be the case, but uh, in a totally different way. To tell us more about uh, what to expect is none other than Dr. Hassan Wario, uh, who's the Kenya at 50 Secretariat Chairman and who is also the Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Culture and Arts. Thank you. Welcome to the Power Breakfast. Thank this is actually your first time. Yes, it is. Yeah. And, and uh, perhaps just uh, on a lighter note, uh, people confuse you uh, with Ali Wario. <laughs> What yes, that? Uh, I think it's just a slip of the tongue. Uh, it's just a slip. Or as mm. people from my village will say, slip of the mouth, mm. <laughs> if it is a bigger slip. Uh, no relations, but maybe the Wario name is common in Tana River, uh, again, because of our historical mm. links, um, as it is in Marsevit County, where mm. I come from. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Many Probably thanks. is a distant cousin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very thanks. Indeed. <laughs> and of course, we have uh, a veteran journalist, Wanamutei Ginjao. Of course, uh, 50 years on, Wanamutei Ginjao. Uh, we, 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 we expect this will be a different celebration altogether. Let's hear from <laughs> the organizer. <laughs> uh, we expect, of course, uh, many, yes. many people expect that. Uh, in fact, when you got independence, there used to be, there was a coin mm. for that particular. I don't know whether they have a coin now, but it, it, we will get to know from. from yes, from I think the coin is, is uh, you've right, rightly minted it. Yes, ah. yeah. Because we are going <laughs> to launch the coin today, yeah. uh -huh. uh, the commemorative coin um, uh, today at night, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. at the uh, KICC mm -hmm. and with a commemorative stamp mm -hmm. it's going to be launched by His Excellency the President mm -hmm. and it looks super as young people say super duper yeah. mm -hmm. um, Kenya at 50 is it different? Yes it is uh, most of the people doing Kenya at 50 now were born after, the f after independence mm -hmm. so the, the take of on that history is slightly different but what we're looking at are three critical things one is uh, <coughs> reflection the time to take stock, look back at the last, last 50 years. Uh, and then the other one is looking at the present, which is always heated in every society, in every country, the present is with you here, so you deal with it a lot. Uh, and the other one is projecting. What, do, what's the, what is Kenya going to look like in 2063? And so on and so forth. So looking back, we're saying, if you were born in 1913, uh, you're slightly unlucky. You will hit two world wars, you'll hit the depression, you'll hit the emergency and the uprisings until 1963. Then independence came, then light shone for you. So we're looking at the last 50 as dramatic and important also in the world history, uh, within which obviously Kenya was contextualized. Um, we're looking at the next 50 years as transformative, as if you look at Kenya now, and if you look at Kenya uh, 1963, completely different. But if you look at the pace of just world global changes, and if you put Kenya within that context, and with the finding of oil, and uh, uh, with our blueprints for industrialization, for new railway, for all these good things that are also packaged in Vision 2030, we are going to form a very different country. So Kenya at 50 is looking at Kenya or within this different uh, three spectrum, mm -hmm. uh, and engaging different discussions within this. But we have specific programs for Kenya 50 celebrations, starting from, say, CAFA, uh, the football, which is Kenya at 50. Uh, we, have, we have two programs. We have the normal program of events, but also we have what we call the legacy projects. And one of the legacy projects is the tree planting, the greening of Kenya. And the suggestion is to have at least 50 million trees planted over a couple of years. Um, we have the National Theatre, after this uh, event, I'm going to uh, National Theatre, where we've got a sponsorship deal of uh, over 100 million uh, from Mr. African Breweries to modernize uh, the National Theatre. It's going to be launched by His Excellency the President. We have things to do with the Pediatric Hospital, Kenyatta Hospital. We have things to do with Madare, which have been taken up by Safaricom, and many different players. So first we see the legacy projects as lasting, outliving these celebrations. Specific on the celebrations, the big day is the 11th, going to the 12th. 
The 11th in Nairobi, there will be the Governor's Ball, which will start in the evening. Around, uh, the 11th? On the 11th. At City Hall. At It was supposed to be outside the KCC, facing the City Hall. And the City Hall it was going to be used as a canvas. So we're going to project images on the City Hall of the history of Kenya. So light and, uh, uh, light and sound show on City Hall. But we think uh, the weather forecast is not going to be good. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, there's a worry about the weather forecast. So we think we'll be inside KICC, mm. um, although we'll still have the slideshow. Mm. So we'll probably do the slideshow first and go inside. Invitations to that has already been sent. That was collaboration between Kenya at 50 and the, and the governor of Nairobi. Um, then after that, we, uh, the ones who don't come to the governor's ball will already be at uh, Uhuru Gardens, where activities and music and things will start early around uh, two o'clock uh, onwards, huh? as we build up to the midnight, mm -hmm. when the flag will be raised uh, at, at Huru Gardens, which is historic, which is where it was raised in 1963. So from Governor's Ball, people will go to, again, Huru Gardens at around 10, 11 at night. His Excellency will join us. Uh, he'll plant a tree, and we did that symbolically. There's a tree which was planted in 1963 by the Jomo Kenyatta, the Mugumo tree, which is still standing and very healthy. Um, we've counted 50 steps from that tree, which is one step for everyone here of independence. And 50 steps away, His Excellency the President will plant another tree and he'll hoist the, the flag at midnight. There'll be fireworks, music, activities throughout the night for the ones who can stay that long. The most critical day is the 12th. Uh, the 12th the gates will open very early uh, at Kasaran. We, we're even thinking of 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning for the gates to open so that we don't have a stampede. We don't have people pushing to come in. And there we have a repertoire of things, uh, different activities uh, from music of Kenya the last 50 years to comedy from Ojuang to I think uh, Mutumishi and his team. Uh, Within it, also a very critical point is we'll have people from East Africa. Uh, because again, the president is the chairman, but also showing that East African unity. So we'll have Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, dancers performing. We'll play the Kenyan national anthem and the anthem of the East African region as well. Amongst uh, so many other things, we'll have our, our defense forces doing the performances, uh, traditional dances, and the whole lot. Um, How many hands of states are expected to attend? We, by yesterday, I think we had about 12. 12 hands of states. Yes, and a vice president and I think a prime minister. Uh, so the number is growing. So at least 12 have confirmed mm -hmm. uh, their presence. All right. Uh, one of the contentious issues uh, revolved around the budget because we started with a budget of 2.5 billion shillings and then it went to 500, shilling, uh, 500 million shillings. What advised uh, the settling for this current budget? I think there were two. I think the, the key issue was um, there was a lot of hoo ha at the time. Uh, there were strikes going on, and people thought, wow, all this money just for, <laughs> for a party? Yeah. And I think uh, to be just sincere to those people who, who had set up the commission, uh, the committee before us, um, it was not just a party, but it's how it was handled, or it was how it was misrepresented that really hurt them. Um, what we did immediately, we were given this mandate about three months ago was to look at the sentiments of Kenyans. What was the real issue here? And many Kenyans felt that we should have things lasting after the 12th. Whatever money you use, but what is the legacy as aspect? You know, have you shown pr prudency? You know, are you prudent in, in what, whatever the money you're given and how you're spending it? So we're given 500 million. Um, it is a tight squeeze in many ways. Uh, we sat down together as a team and we thought through it. What do people really want? And I have a very youthful secretariat who are marvelous. Uh, hence, we came up with the idea of legacy projects. And we said, OK, let's use this 500 million for the core activities, publicity, uh, uh, accommodation of people who are coming, and so on and so forth. But all these are the big projects. Let's look for s sponsorship. Let's sell it to uh, the public and the private sector, people who want to, to come on board. And our legacy projects flew off the shelves. They are comp nearly all taken. It's been the most successful aspect because mm. people want to see things that are lasting. Mm. 
and uh, if you're a private sector, you want to, sh to put your money where you can see it really work. So I think the, the budget could, in total, if you add the legacy uh, sponsorship and the 500 million, it could be about 3 billion or more than 2.5 billion in terms of the budget. Although the money we have is just the 500 million. But it is what is lasting. It's what people will see in the future that uh, I think resonated very well with Kenyans. So what are those legacy projects? Um, give a few. I'll give you a, a yeah. Madare and uh, the pediatric hospital. I think Madare is, is in a bad shape, mm -hmm. really bad shape. Uh, there's need for pediatric hospital uh, enhancement. Safaricom took those two up. Uh, we have the tree planting. Uh, National Bank has, has put in uh, about 100 million for that. We have the National Theatre, mm -hmm. which really needed yeah. needs help. And we're just going to launch that. We are really excited about uh, that. 100 million is coming into that. Uh, and so on and so forth. So it, it just gives you a wide breadth. And it's all captured in what we call the partnership proposal here, yeah. uh, which all our partners looked at. And they picked uh, whatever they felt was feeling uh, was meeting their, their need. There's also the restoration of the Huru Gardens. Mm -hmm. Huru Gardens, you said uh, very clearly, Mutegi, <laughs> nobody goes there. That's what I, I thought. I think the whole town will live there. Mm -hmm. It's well lit now. It's cleaned up. It, the trees have been replanted. It looks beautiful. Uh, we have a Kenya Tribute Scholarship Fund, which we are talking to uh, some colleagues about, some banks about. There's the Kenya 50 Entrepreneurship Fund. Mm. There was some money given by Coca-Cola to the Weso Fund mm. recently, yeah. uh, and so on and so forth. So I think it's been very successful. You have mentioned um, a National Theatre renovation by Safaricom. Uh, no, by, uh, by East African Breweries. East African Breweries, yeah. yeah. And there is the issue of um, the Kasarani Stadium uh, being rebranded and uh, renovated by Safaricom and get the name. And there are issues members of parliament complaining. That you have sold um, office. Is that is that? No, I, I think there is a misunderstanding. Yeah. Uh, and we have we have responded to the members of parliament. Mm. If you pass there now, Mutegi, uh, you will see it's still called Moi International Sports, Sports Center. Center yeah. That has not been changed. Yeah. And there was never a stadium inside there called Moi Stadium. Mm -hmm. It is a mm -hmm. center yeah. made up of various stadia. Yeah. Whether it's gymnastic, gymnastic or swimming yeah. or whatever. Okay. So we've taken just one stadium out of the Moi International St Sports, Sports, Sports Center. Center one stadium and branded, and branded it. We have not changed the name more International Sports Center. Uh, so I think people should look back at that. But also, what was Kasarani before that? Completely broken down, yeah. shockingly broken down. And we, we need to look at, uh, you know, separate the wheat from the chaff. Look at the issues, the critical issues here. Uh, and if people want to go and see the site and see what the issues are, I think we'll be very happy to take them there. This money that has come in has completely revamped that stadium. And you'll see uh, on the 12th how it looks like. Mm. But also, this is an international trend. Uh, yeah. People like Arsenal have changed their name to Emirates Stadium and so on and so forth. Why it underneath it is a support that you cannot raise personally uh, as, a, as a club or you know, uh, as a government to sustain this very big, important facility. But also, all that have, having been said, that is just a contractual agreement. It's not a lasting mm, agreement. Yeah, mm. So we can revert to all the, the, the names that we had. Mm. Uh, I think it is, it, is a, it is a brave new world, as they say. It's, it's, it's the way to try and go and see, can that sort out our problems? If not, after the contract, we can review them. What about you National Theatre? Is that going to be called in National Theatre? No, or that's, what that's not part of the agreement. So mm. what, what, what the name will remain, uh, mm. as far as I know. Mm. Uh, the for instance, if you if you National Bank supported tree planting, will the trees be called National of Bank trees? Not, of course not. I mean, that's the same <laughs> argument. So Absolutely. it's of not. not. I yeah. mean, the general the general yeah. fear was that uh, we, it's sort of we're starting a trend where we might.